Hello everyone, this is case number 51 of MSK series. Today's case is a 45 year old man presented with multiple joint pain in, in both hands. It's a progressive progressive joint pain in both hands so this is the anterior posterior radiograph of both hands in a skeletally mature patient so in this patient you can see multiple abnormalities in the joints or bone density normal bone density normal and trabecular pattern also normal So here you can see there is involvement of first metacarbophalangeal joint and uh, all in, in fact all the metacarbophalangeal joints are involved more pronounced in the first metacarbophalangeal joint and interphalangeal proximal interphalangeal joints also involved and some part of the wrist joints are also involved and here you can see punch out type lytic lesions punch out type erosive erosions are there they are actually just articular or para articular sometimes you call red bite lesions red bite lesions however the articule the no there is no periarticular osteopenia joint spaces are almost almost preserved usually at the latter stages of the disease sometimes the joint spaces are narrowed yeah there is narrowing of the joint space some joint spaces are preserved here you can see preserved joint space here and there is some overhanging bones overhanging bones are there overhanging bones are there overhanging bone margin it's due to sclerosis of the residual affected bone to preserve the in order to preserve the joint space you can see soft tissue swelling Soft tissue swelling is also there. Here also soft tissue swelling you can see. So multiple small joints are affected in this case. And there are erosions of the para, para articular regions of the joints. Pronouncedly affect first metagophalangeal joint. Soft tissue component is there. However, until later stages, joint space is preserved and no evidence of osteopenia or osteoporosis in this case diagnosis is gout so differential diagnosis are rheumatoid arthritis psoriasis psoriasis is another differential diagnosis some if, if there is involvement of single joint you can think of uh, septic arthritis for example first metacarbophalangeal joint or first metatarsophalangeal joint is in known and also you can take uh, reactive arthritis those are few differential diagnoses so when you talk about uh, gout it is caused by deposition of uric, uric acid crystals uric acid crystals in the joint space that causes soft tissue swelling of the joint spaces and also there is it induces inflama inflammation so it's a kind of a erosive inflammatory arthritis
and there are several stages of gout and also it affects uh, 30 to 50 year old patients mainly the males there are several stages one is asymptomatic hyperuricemia then acute gout episodes acute gout arthritis then intercritical gout then chronic topaceous gout chronic topaceous gout ultimately gout in nephropathy these later stages is stopified deposit in the joints and they are uric acid crystals usually they do not calcify this uric acid tophi so that ends uh, case number 51 of msk series please subscribe our youtube channel then you will get notifications early of our new videos and also you can comment on our videos thank you everyone